right, guys, welcome back. So this is technically the final transfer video. Uh, so I am doing the final transfer of the plants outside of the greenhouse, you know, where they're being protected and babied from the cold weather and finally moving them outside so that they can continue growing outside uh, and spread their wings. So they're going to be positioned right there where I just placed that first bucket. <clears throat> I've already put the uh, cardboard boxes there that flattened out, got everything set up over there. I also have that rack over there that I also decked out with some cardboard boxes. Um, you know, you got to get a little creative when you garden, so I've got that over there. Uh, just to add some more uh, space to, uh, to put the containers in. So what I am doing is basically uh, looks almost self-explanatory. I'm taking each container out of the greenhouse. Um, but what I'm, so what I'm doing is to the containers is I am finally topping them off, topping the soils, soils off. Uh, with the uh, Nature Cares, the potting mix that I used, and also the worm casting uh, that I bought. So that is the worm casting bag that I bought. I only bought one bag, and I, I figured one bag would be enough because, again, uh, worm casting is uh, supposed to be really good for the garden. So um, <coughs> apparently, you don't need, you don't really need a whole lot. You don't need, you don't need uh, really need a whole lot. So. Uh, just putting a little bit of the uh, of the worm casting in each container, and um, you know a good amount of the nature's care soil uh, into them as well. And um, I am also for the tomato plants at this point, uh, maybe some for the pepper plants, but mostly for the tomato plants. The, uh, as you can see, I'm putting sticks. I'm putting uh, stakes. They're really uh, the the stems of the of last year's tomato plants that I broke down in my uh, my first videos. Uh, the stick the stick that I got from uh, from the stems is what I'm using as stakes uh, for the tomato plants. So you're supposed to stake your tomato plants and um or and you can um, put a trellis over them. So I'm actually gonna do both. Uh, for majority of them. All of them are definitely getting staked, as you can see. And I have um, the ribbons that, that, I, that I'm using to tie them up. Again, I'm doing this to protect them from really bad weather, from uh, strong winds. Um, you know, a lot of times uh, these tomato plants, they grow really tall, they grow big, they grow tall. And I don't want the winds to just beat up on them too much and uh, bend the stems too hard or break the stems. Um, I definitely don't want that. I mean, that's so you have to protect. You have to protect them or else uh, you just really, all of your hard work is going to go to waste. Uh, so, you know, that's what I'm doing there. Um, but again, for the most part, everything is everything looks good um everything you know is, is is set up good i am going to post a link of the worm casting that i am using in the description below um it is a, it's an organic worm casting uh it has uh no odor it's uh, odor free worm casting it's organic and I, you know, so far I am satisfied with the results that I'm getting with my garden uh, between using the worm casting and the fertilizer, fertilizer, everything. I'm satisfied with it. So this is the final, final transfer of my plants. And after this, it's just watering and fertilizer from this point on. So they're outside of the greenhouse. They can finally enjoy the warm weather outside. All right, guys. Peace. This is Dap the E-Vegan. I'll be putting out more videos and content. So please like, subscribe, and share for more updates. Continue evolving. Peace. Also, use my referral code in the description below to get 1,000 miles of free supercharging with the purchase of a new Tesla.